John is a writer, comedian, football fanatic, but perhaps the most surprising thing about John is that his wife still hasn't smothered him to death in his sleep. <laughs> Separate beds. <laughs> All I knew about women is what... Cos I'd never encountered many before. I only knew what I'd seen on adverts. So sometimes I say, oh, it's a nice sunny day, why don't we go to the park and you can eat a yoghurt on a bench? <laughs> <laughs> Not really into that. And the rollerblades I got for the days when she's on her special time, they've... <laughs> they've gone untouched. She press this button, he'll say, John phrases. Oh! <laughs> Lower! What, have you got a mascot? Yeah, I've messed up a bit, though, because I brought a mascot that I thought would wind John up and throw him and psych him out and completely mess with his head and put him off for the whole game. Right. Yeah, and then it backfired because I got put on his team. <laughs> well, we have to see the mascot. Well, no, we don't. It's part of the, part of the show. I know it's part of the show, but fuck it. <laughs> well, let's have a look at it. Well, but it's going to mess him up and he's on my team. Oh, he'll be all right. He'll be well, fine I with this. The I don't think he'd even know mind. would mess with his head, like, really bad... <laughs> It's just a really untidy, disordered cutlery drawer. <laughs> well, we need... You've given me something to do there. <laughs> I'm already so it's excited at the, just what this is going to look like by the end. And I've separated one soup thing spoons that, from... With you, it's like, I know I can just do that. You'll go mental. Watch me go mental. You won't like it. Yeah. And genuinely, you won't like it. You won't like it. <laughs> oh, it's Uncle Apple's all over again. <laughs> Got a mascot? Uh, well, it's more, it's a review, really, Jim. It's that time of the year. It's the end of the year, isn't it? And we all we, we all think of the word of the year, which Susie will know this year is post truth. Post truth. But I've had a big year as well. I had a. Uh, we had a baby, I think it's the fairest way to say it. Even, yes, we did. Even... <laughs> Congratulations, So I thought I'd do some of the words that I learnt this year that I didn't know before the year started. Um, so this is the first word I learnt this year. It's ten letters <laughs> and it's episiotomy. What's an episiotomy? Episiotomy is they take a... F <laughs> oh, they, <laughs> they get some... A, sharp, a very sharp, and when the ladies um, <laughs> wide, and then they cut. I can't do that one. <laughs> cool. I think he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. The next word I learned is perineum. <laughs> What's a perineum, John? Well, you, when you have your episiotomy, that's they cut the, and it's it's the bit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not the bit, and it's not the other bit. It's, it's sort of a, a middle bit. <laughs> you wouldn't ever think of it if you were a man. You wouldn't think, oh, there's a bit. you just think, oh, that bit, but not that bit. <laughs> there's it. And then sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> and then when the baby's born, the baby does a poo, and there's a word which is meconium, and that's... <laughs> That's the first poo a baby does, and it's a shit so foul, it <laughs> has to have its own name. <laughs> it sticks to everything. <laughs> it's like the stuff they use to attach prizes to magazines. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit. I'll just briefly tell my favourite story of John. When I, I came home, I'd just done a gig, and I heard this noise, I opened the door, and I just heard... <laughs> 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 So I opened the door, and do you remember this? You were climbing up the stairs just using your, your arms. <laughs> and I said, what are you doing? And you went, eh. <laughs> and you said, I was seeing what I'd be like to climb upstairs if I had no legs. Watered. So it's watered pretty good. John, let's hear yours. The same. Ooh. Right, oh, come and have a look at that. <laughs> come and have a look. He just wrote that down, Jimmy, just now. <laughs> And you've written it very small, so I don't know if that should count. That's really small. <laughs> what little system are you using there, John? I just scatter them about a bit. Right, and then reorder them. Well, sometimes I just do an E and see what I've got at the end of 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm too busy shagging to notice the game's going. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, Russell, you used to live with John. Did yeah. you ever spend a festive period with him? Um, we had a Christmas party once. Oh. It was a lot of fun. Do you remember that? I think I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and before everyone came round, there was ten people. We were very excited. <laughs> and cooked us all some dinner. Oh, I don't remember this. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and you, you made the others. stuffing. And um, you were very poorly at the party. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and everyone left. And I think it was about four people left at the party, and I found him by the fridge crying. <laughs> and he said to me, I can't stop farting. <laughs> what did you put in the stuffing? What? I made me own Jimmy. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It was awful. Wasn't Beverly, it? Like I seem to remember my sister um, sort of trying to cuddle you and go, "It'll be all right. You'll get over this." I won't. I'll be farting forever. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, John, when you lived in a flat with Russell, what was the worst thing you ever did to your flatmates? Oh well, that would be the time that I got so tired of cleaning the flat that while they were out, I tidied the flat and then left them an itemised bill. Uh, for my time at minimum wage. <laughs> you know, I, d I didn't want to overcharge the guys, but, you know, it's important they learnt that this shit doesn't happen for free. All right, OK. <laughs> What's the most unusual thing about your body? Someone's touched it. <laughs> my chest hair is sort of roughly heart-shaped. <laughs> <laughs> is, is this your Match.com profile we're listening to? <laughs> OK, um, that, that will do, I mean, for weirdness. I also have a little mole just in there. Not... Can you see that? A little just mole? A little... Oh! <laughs> there is a little and mole it, there. It re people really hate it, cos they go, oh, you've got a bit of chocolate, and I go, no, it's a mole, and they go... Uh. <laughs> no, I can see why, it's really gross. It's horrible, but... isn't it? OK, so what are we going to go for, the chest hair? Chest hair, yeah. OK, weird chest hair. Mole shave out it. Out and you shave it like that, do you? <laughs> no, it just grew like that. I'm like a sort of Care Bear. <laughs> OK, last question. When you lived with Russell, what was his most annoying habit? Oh, well, undoubtedly. I mean, he's got a thing for teaspoons. He likes to borrow them away as if there's going to come some sort of apocalypse and teaspoons... <laughs> teaspoons will be the only currency and he will be king of all the worlds. His most annoying habit is that he flosses the skin in between the toes of his feet with his socks in the front room. <laughs> Sort of see it, you know, like when you turn a snow globe upside down. <laughs> when John lived with you, what was your most annoying habit? Uh, the, the, oh, I'll tell you what it might be. <laughs> and I, I, well, I should point out, I don't do this anymore. <laughs> I, is it that then? Okay. Well, I don't you know, know. just what, whatever you're about to say, you still do. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I used to scratch my uh, sort of feet with socks, and um, that was my thing. And John didn't like it. Nobody liked it. <laughs> <laughs> the house wasn't split down the middle. <laughs> he'd get the toes like yeah. that, and then he'd get the sock, and he'd go... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'll be honest, when I was doing that, and I suffered very badly from athlete's foot. Um, <laughs> which, you know, that's why I was doing it. I'm not, I wasn't sort of, Oh, yeah, you know... it wasn't for fun. Yeah. It, was to get, it was to get rotten skin off his feet onto the carpet of the living room. There was yeah. a <laughs> Congratulations to John's wife. It took 12 long hours of pain, tears and drugs, but eventually <laughs> John managed to get her pregnant. <laughs> 12 hours? <laughs> Wonderful. Excellent. <laughs> Can you imagine? 12, 12 hours. hours? That's all I'll do in my lifetime. <laughs> Dermot will be summoned when I blow my whistle. Any impingement of the rules. Right. So any bad language will be punishable. Uh, sexual touching will be... Uh, but what about just touching? That will be down to my judgement, and I am a sexual expert. <laughs> <laughs> three times now. Um, <laughs> and I won all three. <laughs> so, uh, You mean you came first? <laughs> I'm slightly anxious. There's been a few glances over, and okay. I'm slightly worried that there's going to be some copying going on in this round. <laughs> I just want to make sure that there's... There's a line that cannot be crossed, so... <laughs> Did you put that there to enforce 
This is a barrier over some, which you may not some cross. Some space. Yes. Because you, you would have been fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, this whole ruse was so I could yeah. see the spray close up because I think it's a bit late for me to get in the Premier League. <laughs> What's this about? I don't understand. Footballers who somehow cannot be trusted in a marriage somehow obey a phone.